All right, guys, it is Saturday night again, and I am so excited as usual because tonight we are watching another one of my all-time favorites. Last week, we watched Bedtime Stories with Adam Sandler, which is another one of my all-time favorites, but it got me on the Adam Sandler kick because on the shelf right beside it is this one that we're going to watch tonight, Pixels. Guys, I love this movie so, so, so very much. I grew up in the time of arcade games, Atari 2600, Pac-Man, Qbert, Donkey Kong, all the awesome games from back in the day. And this movie covers them all. Absolutely hilarious. If you have not seen it yet, make sure you go get it, stream it, buy it, whatever you have to do, because tonight we are going to watch it. But first, we need to go out to the store and find an awesome snack to make while we watch Pixels. You're going to come with me. I actually kind of decided at first that we were going to make one kind of snack, but once I got out to the $1.25 tree and started looking around, it completely changed, and we ended up getting stuff to make something that is probably even more awesome than what we were going to make. So come with me right now, let's go to the $1.25 tree, then we'll come back here, we'll make our snack, and then we'll kick back and we will watch Pixels. But before we do... Who's ready to arcade? see what we can get at the Dollar Tree here to make this an awesome movie night. Look at this. These are supposed to be like planters or something, but they're giant plastic buckets that you, you could actually use to make your own custom popcorn buckets. That'd be a heck of a lot of popcorn, though. Look, they got yellow, red, blue, green, white. Okay, wait a minute. I may have just changed my mind. See, this is what I love about just going out looking for snacks and creating things on the fly. We can make Pac-Man pies out of these. They're banana-flavored moon pies. The package says there's six in there, so they must be pretty small. But we could have mini Pac-Mans. If we did that, though, we gotta find something that we could make ghosts out of. I think I show you these every time we come into the Dollar Tree, but I absolutely love how they have all these different kinds of popcorn buckets here. These are uh, cardboard, and they come in a pack of two. These are, I think you just get, yeah, you get two in these as well, and this is just one big one right here. So they've got like four aisles of different snacks here, so we ought to be able to find something to make some ghosts out of. This is all like chips and popcorn and stuff on this side, but we have to find like some cookies or, I don't know, something we could make some ghosts out of. So they have things like these, these Stroop waffles, but you would have to try to shape them like a ghost, and they're pretty crumbly as they are. Um, same thing if you used, like, chocolate wafers or these vanilla wafers or anything. These are actually pretty big, so that might work. But again, it's going to be messy if you have to shape it. I mean, it's not like I haven't made a mess a million times making snacks. But right now, I'm just in that mindset where I'm like, man, I do not want to have a bunch of crumbs around to clean up. Okay, hear me out. I think I found our ghosts. Look at this. They have this stuff called jiggly jowls. I don't know if every Dollar Tree has them, but if they do, they're in one of the food aisles here. I was about to give up on finding ghosts, and I came across these. Now look at this. They come in a bag. It looks like there's about, I don't know, eight of them in there. Maybe even more. Yeah, there's eight. It says eight right there on the package, okay? Um, <laughs> but they are multicolored. We got blue, yellow, orange. It looks like we got green, maybe a red in there. You could actually use these and just put those little jiggly eyes on these and they would instantly become Pac-Man ghosts. I am definitely putting those in the cart just in case I don't find anything else. Like you could go this direction, you could get these 
These little cookies, you see how they're shaped? You could cut them in half and then they would be the shape of the ghosts, but they're not colored, so they're not fun. And you could make them colored, but you would have to put like some kind of frosting. And man, I don't know, I'm just not in the mess mood right now. But these little buggers, they're already ghosts. They just don't have eyes yet. Now, if we come right back down here, I've already showed you guys and told you about this a million times because I think it's so cool. But right here, they have large candy eyeballs. That's not necessarily what we want. So we're gonna go over to the craft aisle and see if they would happen to have small plastic eyes. Now I am gonna show you just in case they don't have the jiggly gels. Here are the frosting tubes. We got white, red, pink, there's a blue back there. I thought I saw a green somewhere. Here's even some that are like twinkly. So if you had to get something like those other cookies and just frost them to get your colors, you could do that. And here's your eyes right here. Man, so far I am seeing everything but googly eyes. They have so much stuff in here, but I don't see googly eyes. <laughs> Look at this, they even have pencil sharpeners shaped like Piranhas. I'm a piranha. Guys, you are not gonna believe this. Just before I gave up, I saw a guy walking down the aisle and I'm like, do you guys have googly eyes in here? And I thought he would think I was nuts and he brought me right over here and here they are. There's another aisle for uh, crafts and things right here. And here they are, by all the beads, we have our googly eyes. And look at this, I dug a little deeper and they even have black googly eyes. So we're gonna get both. We're gonna get the black ones and the colored ones. I just cannot believe that. Dollar Tree rules. Now I like this idea so much more, guys. It's so much more fun. But the initial idea when I first came in here was to do Pac-Man pizza. And here was the plan. We were gonna get one of these big pizza crusts here and we were gonna get a couple packs of the smaller pizza crusts. We were gonna shape these pizza crusts like the ghosts. We were gonna shape this one like a Pac-Man, which wouldn't be too difficult. And then we were just gonna make little pizzas out of them. They have Contadina pizza squeeze right here, and we probably would have just used pepperoni for eyes. Look at this, guys, before we go, I have to show you, Dollar Tree is the absolute best for movie night stuff. Look, this is little snack containers. We got Paw Patrol on these. Oh my gosh, sandwich shaped containers if you were making sandwiches. Here's more snack containers. And then over here they have these little drink things. Look, we have a dinosaur train and we have the Berenstein Bears. We have Arthur, and on the bottom there is a small snack container on there. What the heck, so totally awesome. And look what I just found, guys. If you wanted to take your Pixels movie night a step farther, 4D gummy sour building blocks. Look at that, they are multicolored, just like the pixels in the movie. Okay, we are home. Now this is the setup that I use when I'm filming my Garbage Pail Kids because I need like this direct focus right here. So I'm not sure if it's gonna work for this, but since I have it set up, we're gonna use it. So let me show you what we got at the store. This may be the easiest craft slash snack that we've ever made for a Saturday night snack in a movie. So first off, we have the box of moon pies, and these are mini moon pies. So I'm kind of anxious to see how small they actually are, but these are going to become little Pac-Mans. Then we have our jiggly gels. Now, this is just like Jello in little strange shaped cups. I wish they were shaped more like ghosts, but basically what we're gonna do is turn them upside down like this, put a couple of googly eyes on them, and I have the colored googly eyes, and I have the black and white googly eyes. So that's how we're going to create our ghosts. So let me change the angle here. What I like about this setup is that I can change the camera so it's facing down and you can see what my hands are doing instead of looking at my face. So I think this is gonna work out really good here, guys. You can see my hands working with this stuff. Let's go ahead and open our moon pies here. I'm really anxious to see how small these are. I hope they're not just absolutely tiny. Here we go. Okay, yeah. That's about the size I was expecting them to be. That will work perfectly. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one moon pie here, and I'm glad we have six because I don't know if this is gonna work 
or not. I don't know, they might smash kind of easy. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our knife and just cut out like the Pac-Man mouth. It should be pretty simple. So basically like this, that's the shape we're gonna cut out right there. And hopefully this works good. I know these moon pies get kind of crumbly. Okay, there's a Pac-Man. <laughs> so, so far that's working out pretty good. We can kind of clean it up there a little bit. All right, that looks pretty dang good actually. Let's go ahead and do that with a couple more. Draw in the mouth and then we'll start cutting it out. Now this is what I was worried about right here, how it's kind of crumbly. So you gotta be careful about how you cut it. Like if you have a sharp enough knife, it should go right through, but very crumbly. So there we go. I mean, that looks good. That's, that's probably the best we're gonna get right there. And actually that looks really, really good. So there's two of them. Let's go ahead and make one more here. All right, so there's three Pac-Mans right there, right off the bat. That was so super easy. Um, of course, they need some eyes. So I'm gonna break out my box of candy eyeballs here. Now, if you remember, as we saw in the store in the Dollar Tree, that's where I got this box and they have the giant eyes in there. But I also have some of the little eyes that were left from the ones that I got at Walmart. You get a ton of them in these packs, so every time I buy any, I just save some eyes. I don't have any kind of like squeeze gel or frosting or anything. If I did, I'd just put a tiny little dab on there. But I think as long as we get the back of the eye wet a little bit, then it should stick. Push it in there a little bit. There we go, that's working out. Okay. <laughs> Those look hilarious. Oh my gosh, look at that. And that's just the Pac-Man. So now I need to clear my area here real quick and then we're gonna move on to the ghosts. Okay, so we have our area clean here. And for our ghosts, we're gonna break out these Jiggly Gels. Now I understand that everyone might not have these in their Dollar Tree. That's why I gave a couple of other ideas for ways you could make your ghosts. If you wanted to, you could actually just get the big Jello cups, like Jello brand or whatever brand they are. They probably even have like great value at Walmart. But someone asked if they could just use like a cup of Jello, and that actually will not work because the reason we're using these is so that we can turn them upside down like this and make them ghosts. See, if we just turn them upside down like this, they're already ghosts. They just need some eyes. So you have to have some kind of jello that's in a clear container with a top like this that you can actually turn upside down. So they can chase Pac-Man, and then when he eats the pellet, he can chase them, chomp, chomp, chomp. So for this, let's just take one of each color. We got a yellow, a green, um, let's use that pink and we'll go ahead and use a blue. Oh my gosh, look, there's like little flavor bits or something in there. So this is where our eyes come in. And as I showed you, we have two different kinds of eyes. We have the black and white eyes. We have the multicolored eyes. Let's go ahead and just use the multicolored eyes. I think those would be fun. I was really amazed that we could get these at the Dollar Tree. I mean, I was looking, but I wasn't hopeful. And when the guy walked by that worked there, I asked him and he was like, oh yeah, we got them. <laughs> and not only that, but look at this. There's 125 in the pack. Holy crap, guys. Now the only thing about these that's not wonderful is that they are not self-adhesive. So we're gonna have to use like some glue or I have like some uh, double-sided tape here that I'm gonna use. That's not perfect, glue would be better, but that's what I have on hand. I didn't even think about it while I was in the store, so. So basically all we're gonna do to turn these into ghosts is just take an eye or two eyes and we're gonna stick them on there just like that. So I need to get some double-sided tape here. I'm just gonna take off a tiny, tiny little bit because the eyes are so small. Okay, fold it over and I think I'm gonna use, let's mix these up a little bit. Let's do it so that the eyes will show up good. Let's put yellow eyes on the blue guy. There's one and there's two. That is too funny looking right there. Look at that. <laughs> and there is our first ghost. What the heck, man? All right, so there's one. And since we gave yellow eyes to the blue one, let's give blue eyes to the yellow one. 
and two. So there's our yellow ghost. That's funny with those jiggly googly eyes. We'll give the pink guy green eyes. Here we go. Look at this. This eye doesn't want to Google. So, <laughs> so he kind of looks like he's got a problem there. He actually reminds me of one of those things that we made before for Jimmy Neutron, the, uh, the alien eggs where they kind of had googly eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's the pink one. And then let's give the green one the pink eyes. So we've kind of mixed them up here a little bit. If I can get a hold of the thing. Okay, pink eye guy. One more. And there's another one. And there we go. There's the green one with pink eyes, the pink one with green eyes, the yellow one with blue eyes, and the blue one with yellow eyes. So there's our ghosts, and here's our Pac-Mans. Look at that, that is too cool. <laughs> and right here is like all our ingredients that we've used to make this. How cool is that? That is like the easiest movie night snack ever. Now, I don't know how these things actually taste. Let's go ahead and give them a taste test. I tasted one of these, and they're okay. They taste like banana. They're kind of dry. But, you know, moon pies are. You gotta have something to drink with those. That was pretty fun making these guys. Look at him. That is just too cute. A little Pac-Man. And then we have our little ghosties. <laughs> I'm such a nerd, because all I want to do is go chop, 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 chop. Okay, so let's go ahead and give one of these a taste. These uh, jiggly gels. Like, this is a yellow one. It doesn't say the flavor. No, it doesn't even say the flavor that I can see. You just kind of have to go by the coloring of them. So we got like this orange one here. We got blue, I think that is, or maybe even purple. I don't know, when you hold it up to the light. Yeah, that's purple. And then we've got this one here that sort of looks green. And then this one here that looks like it probably tastes like orange. I don't know. Let's go ahead and give one a taste though. Let's do this one right here. I especially like this one because look, can you see? in there it's funny that we're doing pixels tonight for the movie and then i find that these have these little pixel looking things in them what the heck is that in all of them i see a tiny tiny bit in this one um there's yeah there's like one or two in this one little pixels this you can't even see through so you can't tell the blue one here has like one little pixel in there i can see a couple of them in the green ghost here that is too funny. How cool is that? All right, let's get down to tasting this thing. Ugh, oh my gosh, it's hard to get the top off. When I started pulling, as soon as it opened up, it shot the juice out at me. So you can see right there, it looks like a communion cup from church. This is definitely peach. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to just like shoot it. Yeah, and I mean, this sounds gross, but you can basically just like suck it right out of the cup. As long as you don't suck it back in your throat and choke to death. Okay, so there was our little taste test, guys. Our Moon Pie Pac-Mans right here. And our little multicolored ghosts. Blinky, Inky, Dinky, and Stinky, or whatever their names are. <laughs> this actually makes me want to go play Pac-Man now. Hmm, should I buy an Atari today? How many of you have actually played Atari? First of all, how many of you have actually played arcade games, like in an arcade, on an arcade machine, on a big cabinet that housed one video game, like Kung Fu Master? And how many of you have an Atari and or have played Atari, like Space Invaders, Haunted House, Night Driver, Asteroids, Frogger. Man, there were some awesome games back in the day for the Atari 2600. All right, I'm gonna get this cleaned up, guys, and then we are gonna kick back with our little Pac-Mans and our little ghosts and watch Pixels. <laughs> <laughs> 